I also wanted to work a problem like this just because it looks so scary and you know a lot of times we have problems dealing with it. So let's work on the fractions just as a review and we can talk about combining the like terms and all of that good stuff also. Now um, in order to combine like terms we have to look and see okay what kinds of things can I put together. Well here I have an x cubed and then I have just a plain number, an x, a plain number, an x, and an x squared. Like terms are things that have the exact same variable with them. So we can only combine x cubes with other x cubes. There are no other x cubes in here. So 3 twentieths x cubed is our only term there. Now I'm going to mark it out just so that I know that I've already used it and I don't get confused in trying to put it together with something else. Then our next thing here is 1 tenth. Well we have a plain number here of 1 tenth and we also have another plain number of negative one-fifth. We can combine those together. So here's where you might want to review your fractions. We have one-tenth minus one-fifth and we need a common denominator which would be ten. Now our first fraction already had a ten so it's, it, it is its own equivalent there. Uh, for the second fraction we had to multiply the 5 times 2 to make it a 10 which means we have to do the same exact thing to the top. 1 times 2 would be 2. So 1 tenth minus 2 tenths is negative 1 tenth. So our next term there is negative 1 tenth and now we have used both of those items. Next we have a negative 3 tenths x. We can combine that over here with this term because those are both plain x's. So if, again if you need to come out to the side and do that you certainly can. That would be negative 3 tenths x minus 7 twentieths x. Well here again we're going to have to have a common denominator which in this case is going to be 20. So I have to multiply 10 times 2 to get 20 which means I have to do the exact same thing to the top. Negative 3 times 2 would be negative 6 over 20x minus, now the 7 20ths that's already had the common denominator so I can just recopy that. So negative 6x over 20 or negative 6 20ths x maybe I should say minus 7 20ths x is negative 13 20ths x. So my next term would be negative 13 over 20 x and now I'm done with those terms. The only thing that I have left that I haven't used now is this negative 6 x squared and it doesn't combine with anything. So there we go. We are now done.